Yo, what is going on, guys? My name's a friend, the machine or kindness machine, and whatever you want to call me, I'm not bothered. But today, guys, over here on the Kindness Clan channel and my personal channel as well, we've got you guys, and most importantly, I've got you guys the top five best weapons to use in Zetsubo no Shima Zombies. Now, listen to the title there a second. I said weapons, not just guns, that can be anything that we build to obtain, or actually, you know, do like the rituals like the Skull and Sapway to obtain, and anything that we can get out of pods and everything like that, not traps, so any weapon, because now they're focusing more on weapons rather than shootable guns like the traditional HG40, which is a a new replica of the MP40 in the background, and also I said it specifically for this map, not Black Ops 3 Zombies overall, so let's get straight into it in the number 5 spot. As you can see in the gameplay in the background is the HG40. Now a lot of you guys will be thinking right now, well this is the start to a terrible top 5, but don't worry guys, hear me out on this, the reason I picked this for the number 5 spot is, I believe this gun to be the best point stacker for any gun in any Call of Duty Zombies in Call of Duty history, and obviously on Zetsubo no Shima, even to get the power on we have to open a ton of doors, I believe it's like at least 7 1,500 points, so for that, if you get lucky like I did at the start out of a pod and get the HG40 for free, you can spend your money not only buying, like, avoiding buying weapons, sorry, or avoiding buying perks if you want to, but you actually get the HG40, which is good at replicating them points, and obviously to get things done quicker, you can do the Easter egg quicker, and everything like that, which makes everything on this map a ton easier, because if you don't have Perkaholic on to start with as a Gobblegum, in the Gobblegum machine, you get a free Perkaholic from doing the Easter egg final boss, so anyways, in the number 5 spot, a a brilliant point stacking weapon for this map that has a lot of doors on in Zetsubo no Shima, the HG40. Taking the number 4 spot for this list is the 205 Brecci. Now the 205 Brecci is a very good gun anyways in Zombies to be honest because it can get you out of a lot of tricky situations on any Zombies map like you're about to see here near the Gobblegum machine where I try to get a Gobblegum, I get Perkaholic, I already have it on obviously because of all my perks and then I turn around just spray him down with a Thunder Wall 205 Brecci upgraded and it's a really good gun honestly, it's good for a lot more reasons on this map though like the actual trial challenges you have to do in order to get the electric shield or anything to do with like the upgraded KT4, anything to do with the easter egg and actually progressing through the map and what you're meant to do on the map in order to do good is required by the trial challenges right and the reason I'm saying this is good for the trial challenges the 205 Brecci is because I mean the thrashers are involved in three of the trial challenges at least that I can think off the top of my head which include killing a thrasher before it's enraged which obviously you need to kill really quickly before it gets mad and starts running after you and obviously trampling over loads of zombies if you're training and that requires a gun that's very powerful obviously you want to be up close to do that to deal the maximum amount of damage so a shotgun I mean the 205 Brecci anyways being more powerful than the Haymaker is obviously a very good gun to do this now the other two challenges another one is shoot five heads off thrashers now you want to be precise and do a lot of damage in order to blast the head off but yet again a shotgun is obviously very reliable to do this you can do this with ARs I'm not saying you can't and the other challenge is also kill a zombie as it's mutating into a thrasher that obviously is and you want to mow the zombie down as quick as possible when it's mutating no messing around no bullets like being thrown into it that don't deal too much damage but blowing its limbs off with a shotgun is always more effective so this really is helpful if you get all of them three challenges at once to do for the trials then you're in luck if you get the 205 Brecci out of the box out of a pod anywhere on the map because then you're going to be able to do this challenge or all of your trial challenges very very easily and it's a very good gun to have like you saw me get out the tricky situation near the gobble gun machine so the 205 Brecci comes in at the number four spot Coming in at the number 3 spot, the midpoint position for this top 5 best weapons in Zetsubo no Shima list, I've got you guys the Martial 16s. Now the Martial 16s, whether they're pack a punched or not, any form, they are akimbo. So if you guys haven't played the map yet, there's a heads up for you. You get 2 guns for the price of 1 if you get me because they're akimbo already when you get them out of the box. But when they're pack a punched, honestly guys, they're just like an improved version of the 205 Brecci. And if you maintain a constant trigger finger kind of fire rate on this gun, not too fast, not too slow with sleight of hand, it will feel like you've never had to reload the gun because one once you're reloading one gun, you can be shooting the other, and bearing in mind it's not like multiplayer or it's not like the Unpacker Punch versions where you only can shoot one shot, which counts as two bullets like a shotgun, and it does a lot of damage. No, you can actually do that three times with a Packer Punch version, as you can see. I've got six bullets in each individual gun holding it in my two different hands. So when you're using these two beastly weapons as well, it's going to kind of feel like you're using hacks because it's going to feel like you're never going to have to reload, and you're forgetting you're reloading at the same time because they're doing so much damage, even one pistol out of the two you're using Packer Punched, and it's a very good gun, obviously, for situations like the previous one with the 205 Brecci near the gobble gun machine, the Marshall 16 which has more ammo than any shotgun in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 when it's pack a punched in zombies, a very powerful gun nonetheless as well for everything like thrashers like I previously mentioned with the trial challenges and that's why it's in the midpoint spot for the number 3 spot. So I'm guessing a lot of you guys are wondering since the way I've gone about this list you guys may or may not agree but it's different to any other kind of top 5 guns in zombies and stuff because people looking from the outside in at zombies think more ammo the better meaning i.e. the dingo or the BRM 
well no for a matter of fact in this gameplay in the background right now you guys are seeing not only a very good high round strategy but the number two spot for this top five weapons in Zetsubo no Shima list so what we've got for you guys right here or what I've got for you guys is the Masamune now the Masamune or the Masamune however you pronounce it or however you want to refer to it as is the upgraded KT4 now this is a very good weapon especially in the elevator shaft down below where you fight the boss for the final boss battle in the easter egg now it's a very good gun because there's only one hallway for the zombies to run up and if you shoot it on the floor zombies just keep coming up keep dying and you keep getting max ammo as like you can see right there i have freaking two on the floor to collect i mean not that i need to but they're just dropping left right and center drops drop very fast in this area as you can see there's a fire sale behind there as well as well as a seed that i can pick up which is also like a drop that you can pick up off the floor but way more frequent than a drop like a max ammo wow i said drop way too many times there but anyways what i'm trying to say is guys you get so many max ammos that you don't feel like you're running out of ammo too often and the ammo that you use can be sustained in the weapon because it kills so many zombies in the rounds like I'm so comfortable doing this strategy honestly this is probably the easiest way to get to like round 50 plus 100 plus on Zetsubo no Shima but now in the number one spot what you guys are seeing is a weapon that I'm more comfortable using than the Masamune or Masamune the Skull of Nan Sapwe or Skull of Nan Sapwe whatever you want to refer to it as or however you want to pronounce it this is the most comfortable weapon I am at using on this game because because, I mean, it's not only killing a vast amount of zombies each time, but they literally are at a standstill when you're holding down the right trigger to actually, you know, make them lose their minds and make their eyes pop out and everything, and obviously then they die. Thrashers are killed really easily, and as you can see, around 41 with no perks. So if this isn't the best weapon in the game right now on Zetsubo no Shima, I mean, I know it's been patched and everything, like nerfed or whatever, or it's had updates done to it to make it less, like, good in terms of how it was to the start of the game when Zetsubo no Shima was first released on the PS4 but yeah a very reliable weapon a very good weapon and the best weapon in the map for getting out of any type of situation and using in any situation to be honest and it's rechargeable so you don't need max ammo so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed slap a like on the video down below make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're on Carnage Clan link is in the top of the video description down below and I'll see you in the next one peace out